I'm Holly. And I'm Jake. And today in this lesson, we are going to discuss and evaluate three different types of compounds. Hydrophobic compounds, hydrophilic compounds, and amphipathic compounds. A hydrophilic compound will dissolve completely in water. What this means is that the compound in question dissociates in water and breaks down into smaller substances. For example, sugar, or sucrose, is held together by relatively weak intermolecular forces that are broken easily by water. Also, the OH bonds in sucrose are highly attractive to the water molecules due to hydrogen bonding. What do you think would happen if we added a lot more sugar? Well, let's see. See, it didn't dissolve like the last time. That is because the water has reached its saturation point with the sugar, which doesn't allow it to dissolve any more of the solute. So now let's talk about hydrophobic substances. Hydrophobic substances do not dissolve in water. This is because hydrophobic substances are nonpolar, which means that hydrophobic substances cannot blend or mix with water. Water is a highly polar substance. Remember, likes dissolve likes. To demonstrate a hydrophobic substance, we are going to be mixing oil and water. Oil is a nonpolar hydrophobic molecule, whereas water is highly polar. And we will be specifically using vegetable oil, which is a triglyceride mainly used for cooking and baking. As you can clearly see, they do not mix. The water, the density of the two, settled to the bottom and the oil rose to the top. Lastly, we will be discussing amphipathic compounds, which are a combination of both hydrophilic and hydrophobic compounds. To be considered amphipathic, the molecule must contain a polar head, which is highly attracted to the water molecule, and then a long nonpolar tail. When mixed in water, amphipathic compounds arrange themselves in such a way that the polar head faces the water and the long nonpolar tail faces away. This causes them to form a monolayer, or a micelle. Soap is a very good example of an amphipathic substance. Soap, when mixed with water, forms a micelle in which the nonpolar tails are gathered in the center, exposing the polar heads to water. We will be demonstrating how soap is able to clean oil off your hands. Now I'm going to put the oil on my hands. Ugh. And now I'm going to wash my hands with soap. No remnants of oil left on my hands. As you just observed, the soap removed all traces of oil from the hands. This is because the oil is attracted to the nonpolar tails, which trap it inside of the micelle, allowing the polar heads to mix with water, thus being able to wash off your hands. Thank you for joining us while we explain these different types of compounds. And remember, if you're ever confused on this subject, like dissolves like.